after the destruction of Midian. After the unravelling of the fugue. After the fall of the unbeheld and the reconciliation of the five dominions, the Jericho organization has expanded and spread itself thin, guarding the breaches and investigating anything that comes through. This Dungeons and Dragons game is the story of one of those teams. Let's begin. So, um, well, welcome. Uh, you all kind of open your eyes, and you're standing in a you're standing in a, a frozen ice cave, um, which is really it, it seems like it should be cold, but you don't feel cold. Um, so, I'll have each of you, if you've got the chat open, uh, each of you make a perception check, and the way you do that is. Uh, you see alphabetical down the uh, down the the character sheet a list of skills, right? And the, uh, so perception is one of them. So you roll a twenty sided die and you add that number to it. So if you have really low wisdom and no no proficiency in perception, it might be zero. But for oh most God. people, it's probably got it probably it adds be something. Negative. Yours is negative. No, it could be. Oh, okay, I. I got a 16. Got okay, a yeah. So, and then you did you add your proficiency or add your uh, your your perception bonus to that? Um, so I see proficiency plus two bonus. So should yeah, I ask, but, add but two go, to that? Go down, go down to the one that says perception, and there should be ah, a number next to it. Minus one. Okay. So then you type fifth type fifteen into the chat, into the 15. Zoom chat there. Oh, I see. Okay. I see. Okay. Okay. So um if it doesn't have a plus or a minus it just assume it's plus uh yes usually, right yeah. Yeah. yeah okay so i rolled a 15 and then i have a 12 in perception so i have a 27 none you... of this sounds right <laughs> <Apparently. Yeah. laughs> let me pull that up here <laughs> where am i supposed to put it? that would be music okay. Yeah, because my stuff kept on getting messed up, so I'm assuming that, that it did that again. Uh, no, your perception should say plus two on it. That's what I'm seeing. Where it's like it? on your so D&D Beyond in, profile? Yeah, yeah I'm the, on the profile. In and the, then in the middle, there's the list of skills. It starts with acrobatics, and the last one is survival. So you've got okay. perception. Oh, I was looking at the say, wrong one. Okay. Oh, okay. Aha, that so makes sense. it's plus two, yeah. Okay, there we go. Thank you. So we've find? got uh, Chur Dovir has 15, and uh, and Jonathan has 13. Zoe has 17. So I'll, I'm going to do these in order. Uh, so so Chur do is it Vir V I R? Uh, you yes. What, you look around you and you see uh, a bunch of strangers that you've never seen before. Um, one of them looks human. Uh, there's a bird, and it's a seagull, and you recognize seagulls because they also exist in in uh, in uh, across the Imagica. They're they're a pretty common animal. They're like rats. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Through the multiverse, <laughs> they're as common as gravelants and zarzi flies. Okay, uh, zarzi flies are delicious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And are we waking up in the cave, like unaware of how we got there? Uh, yeah. Well, it it it, it doesn't feel like it's abnormal to be here. You you know, it's 
like when you're dreaming you don't okay. you know you don't say say why what am i doing here hmm. um but yeah you see a bunch of strange looking people there's a uh, a lizard type creature and you have a 15 there's some kind of a weird lump on his back that you don't understand uh you see a uh, a bluish looking person with pointy ears that's not super common in the Imagica, uh, within the in the four dominions you're familiar with. So maybe she's from the fifth. Maybe that's normal there. And you see what looks like a a, a, a human with with uh, bright red hair, uh, mm -hmm. wearing kind of uh, robish type clothing. Okay, so now I have to react to that, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Hmm. So. It, it takes just a little bit. Do you guys have that weird step where you have to make the transition into your character and, and, and figure out what you're going to say? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, uh, what am I going to say? Oh, and you no, have to figure out what again. your voice sounds like. Yeah. Well, I'm going to sound like myself because I'm not going to be doing, oh, no, not again. Amateur uh, voice acting in public. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... I guess I get up and I say, not again. Uh, okay, what are we doing here? Who are you guys? Okay, and uh, and Jonathan, I think you're next with a 13. Yes. You, you see a bunch of people that you've never seen before, and they seem like a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> and Pretty standard they, none, my none of them, the human race. None of them are holding food. Good. That was and, my you're, you're, and you're in an icy cave, which is not normal. You don't typically go into caves, and uh, and there's um, it's but it's not, but you don't really feel that cold. Well, in any case, I'm just gonna kind of fluff my feathers up and then, you know, walk, hop back and forth from one foot to the other and just do the the kind of burr, kick, 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 kick. And just kind of look around and see if there's any French fries on the ground. <laughs> Perception oh. check. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. And and those uh, those little outcropping things, those are like um, ledges. So okay. I imagine Jonathan would probably be up high on one of those. Okay, so I'm over there looking at everybody else. I kind of back away yeah. from everybody and like, who the hell are you guys? I was in my tower in the uh, okay. Kesperit in the Second Dominion, and now I'm here. And uh, Zoe, uh, you see, so Zoe got a 17 also. So you you see all these strange characters, but one of them you know. You see, uh, you know Ralph. You've been working with him for about a month. Uh, but you, what you don't recognize is this weird lump on his back. You don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, oh, it wow, sort of boy. looks like it sort of looks like a backpack or something, but it's not. It's almost oh. like it's made out of flesh. It's really strange. Boy, what you get into now? <laughs> <laughs> um and nice uh musette song. you don't know any of these strange people and um musette got, also got a 17 so at first you thought that uh that that uh jose's character churdo veer you thought that he was a, a regular human cuckoo but he's not there's something strange about his eyes the, the from this distance you can't really see it but his eyes don't look normal um and ralph you don't know any of these people either and ralph you got a 19 and what is the perception bonus on that uh on my sheet yeah it's a You're plus five. yeah okay yeah so ralph ralph's got a so that's a nine that's a 24 so ralph sees everything there's a a, a strange blue a uh, woman with pointy ears that you do not recognize. She, um, she's not any of the night breed that you're familiar with. Um, you see, uh, you see Zoe that you know, uh, and she was commenting. Uh, and 
you also feel this weird weight on your back and you're and it's not familiar to you you don't know what that is or how it got there there's a guy holding a, a sort of a whip thing and you don't know what the deal is with him he's got uh dark skin and he's got really really strange eyes and and with a 24 you can even see his eyes they've got double pupils Total so each thing. eye has two two sets of pupils and irises in in it. I think Whoa. Sam Neil in the, uh, the 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 mouth of madness. All right. Yeah. So um of uh, and of course there's a seagull in here, but you know whatever. <laughs> the seagull made that very bird. apparent. Yeah. And noisy, like a seagull. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and. Uh, Let's see. And that was the, that was our last one. Um, also, Ralph, you notice uh, with a 24 perception, this doesn't seem real. Uh, it feels like you're in a dream. And it's really strange to be in a dream and know that it's a dream. But, uh, but you think that's what this is. Sorry. And also, and you see a strange pattern in the ice uh, that almost makes you feel like you're being watched. So I don't know anybody, but I know everyone. Except you, you, you know, uh, you know Zoe. Okay. Yeah, uh, Zoe, Zoe is uh, has been working with you for about a month at the uh, the Midian Jericho site. Uh, you've been you've been uh, trying to get into the ruins and and excavate any anything that you can uh trying to find old um nightbreed artifacts uh without is that why, much luck is that why i have uh this gnarly backpack uh not not that you know of you don't know why you have that okay yeah i could anybody hear I'll see I if I can... oh okay there you go <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, that wasn't picking up on the microphone. No, that was me. I, I've got one loaded on my phone, too. Yeah, no, I mean, I think <laughs> so. Jose's wasn't picking up. I don't think I heard it. Yeah, I don't think it was. Oh, seagulls fighting over yeah. chips. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many flattering footage of me online. Uh, YouTube. Never mind. So, so as you're looking at all these strange people and weird um, in this weird circumstance, uh, a voice sort of booms across the the ice in your minds and it says i see you and then uh and then these these uh strange these strange worm creatures okay okay oh yeah. ah. Yes. Uh, so, so they're like these. They're 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 floating in the air, and they're vertical, and they have like human-looking rib cages. They have uh, they have tentacles coming out of the out of their their sides, and they have what looks like a head, but it's got no face. So it's like a vestigial head. My God, those look delicious. <laughs> <laughs> There yes. they are. Oh, there they are. Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, so so to say how that kind of how that kind of stuff works is you would make like a um a, you would make a check to see if you know what they are. Okay. Uh so it, it, you could use um history or okay. uh, or even religion would work. Hmm. Okay. Let's go and what do the that because I thought I was kind of a librarian of Via Magica, so I would know some of this stuff. Let's I think my see. watch is my yeah Siri just came on on my watch. So okay. I I roll a dice right, so I'm gonna do yeah. a, a history check. Yeah, and and you typically if I give you more than one check, you just pick whichever one's highest. Okay, let's see. So I'm looking at my character sheet. And I roll a twenty dice. Yeah. Yep. And then you add the add the history modifier to it. I got a the dot marks the bottom, right? Yeah. 
I got a six. So a six on history. Do plus. I have history? Oh, yeah, yeah I got plus five. Six plus five. That's so that's an eleven. An eleven. You, you know mm -hmm. you've seen these things before, but you can't really place from where. Okay. So I say, um, um, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> okay. Um, so I say, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, everybody, you know, be on your guard. Um, you know, that's it. And, and, and I'm assuming you're speaking English. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to squawk to myself and okay. that I should really stop rifling in the trash outside the dispensaries before bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stop eating those weird cookies. Ugh, all cookies. Never. Never stop right. eating anything. So um, at this point, everybody roll initiative. So initiative is at the top of your screen, uh, at the top of your character sheet. So you just roll a 20-sided die and add that initiative number to it. Okay. So 19. Okay, so I got a four. Darn it. Four. Plus what your initiative bonus. Uh, I don't have initiative. One. It's in. It's at the top of the screen. Oh. At the top of the character sheet. I mean, kind it's of like right class, proficiency. I think. Initiative plus two. Okay, so I got initiative. So you got a six. Yes. All right. Four plus two, six. I guess I don't have okay. a lot of initiative. Uh, what about everybody else? Yeah, 12. 12 total. total? Okay. 12 total. I got 21. Wow, nice. Ooh, I got okay. 15 total. Okay, and Ralph? Uh, a total four. Four, the seagull okay. will save us. <laughs> <laughs> that was not my plan initially. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess we'll see how things evolve. Okay. Hold into this really quickly. All right. So, so Musette, you see these creatures sort of, they look like they're starting to advance uh, on you guys. Uh, and you have a chance to go before them. Um, and if you look at your character sheet, you have, uh, you have movement, you have actions, and you have bonus actions. Uh, and um, movement, you can go a certain number of feet. And every one of these little squares, I think we talked about this before, is five feet. Where is movement and action? Uh, so movement is up at the top of your character sheet. Uh, I don't see it. Walking? It's, uh, it says walking speed. It's next to proficiency bonus. Okay, okay. I see it. I have 30 yeah. feet. Yeah, yeah so too. you can go 30 feet. And you can you can do movement at any point during your turn. You can you can do your action and then move, or you can move and do your action, or you can do part of your movement and do an action and then the other part. Does turning and, around count as uh, movement? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. And um, you also, uh, for bonus actions, you as a bard, you can inspire people with music. Uh, so, and. That's uh, that's one of the biggest, and what that does is that gives them the, the ability to add another die roll to their to their attacks or or ability checks and stuff. So they okay. roll a twenty sided die and they also roll another six sided die. So each square is five feet. Yeah. So it means thirty feet. I could walk six. Uh, yeah. Six squares. Okay. Yeah. I'm so. So okay. Musette, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you are. I see you. Is it that one? Yeah. Yeah, you're three three squares down from uh, from Jose's character. Okay. Well, considering we haven't even, like, officially met, yeah, I would like to try to uh, get everyone to work together to at least get rid of these worm guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I move towards one of these worm things, or do I have to wait my turn? 
Because if, uh, we, if I was able yeah, to get to everybody to, um, I suppose, get in the center and then face outwards, then we'd be able to fight them off. And then we could actually talk once we're out of immediate danger. And uh, for for your actions, you know, you could do one attack per action, so that you could you could shoot them with your gun. You can do a spell. Uh, you can go hit them with a dagger if you want to. You so okay. you so don't shoot, you shoot. don't have a lot of experience with fighting actual creatures with your gun, but you do have training in it from the Jericho team, from your your uh, your squad in Liverpool. Okay, so yeah, uh, shoot, shoot. Pow, pow. Okay, uh, which one are you? So, th so you've got a rocky sort of outcropping in front of yeah. you, and and Jose's character. So you might want to move to where yeah. you've got a clear, clear shot. Okay. <laughs> Get out of the line so of I fire. Can't I can't yeah. shoot past Jose. Uh, uh, I'd rather. You I don't didn't. know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so that, but uh, since I can move thirty spaces, I can move six spaces then, right? Yeah. So one. Yep. Two, I don't know how to move my person. Oh, okay. Uh, you click and drag. Yeah, you should just oh, go drag them. I forgot. We have to. I have to do it this way. Hold and I on. think it yeah, might even so limit you to okay. your movement. One, two. Okay, three. I don't think it does on this one. Okay. No way Four, five, six. There we go. We shoot, shoot this guy. And th that's a lot closer than you need to be. Just to let you don't have to get all the way <laughs> if you don't want to. Okay, so well, she wanted yeah, to get away from your, your, your guns the range fire. has a uh, you you can shoot from fifty feet away and uh, without any penalty, as long as nobody's in your line of fire. Okay, so you're gonna shoot that guy. So you roll the hit. So you roll a twenty sided die, and you've got a uh, plus two. That should be more than that. I got a fourteen. It should That's be plus four. So plus four is eighteen. So that, and I'm going to fix that on your character sheet. Um, okay. I think you were the first one I added the guns to, and I forgot to, I have to manually add the modifier. Okay, so uh, that hits. So roll your damage. And you see on the, on the pistol automatic, it says 2d6 plus 2. So you take two of, this, of the cube um, dice and roll that and add two to it. And that's your damage. Okay, so I got two and six, and, and then, then another two. Of, yeah. So ten. Ten damage. Okay. So you you uh, you fire your gun into him, and it uh, it blasts a big chunk out of him, and it looks like he's in really bad shape. Good job. Okay, and then next up. Uh, is that is that the end of your turn? Um, do you, or do you want to do bonus action stuff? You could do your bardic in inspiration if you want to. No, no, someone else have a turn. <laughs> okay. All right. So then next up is uh, Jonathan. D &D. Yeah. <laughs> so Jonathan's Livingston Seagull's turn, and then Zoe will be after. Okay. Well, Jonathan Livingston Seagull is only invested in a few humans in his life and it doesn't seem like any of them are here so he's going to go back onto the ledge and hide okay. he's not quite sure what's going on yet okay so you're making a stealth check yes okay Ooh, 25 okay gosh. i rolled the 19 i can show you all right so you're hiding <laughs> behind the rock there or like on the back end of it on uh i Thought I was perched on the rocky outcropping, and so I was just kind oh, okay. so of just kind of into just... a nook. Gotcha. Okay, and um... and observe what's going on. Yeah, and there. Oh, no. okay. Am not you, you get the feeling yet. that they still see you, despite the fact that you hid really well. <laughs> well, that's disconcerting. Yeah, they're <laughs> they're uh... that next round. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Zoe, what do you want to do? Yeah, I'm close to Ralph, right? Am I seeing yes. that correct? Yeah, you're screen? you're like diagonal right in front of him. And, okay. and if you switch the thing on the map to the hand, you can move the map around. Okay. If that helps you at all. Because I've got a I've got a spell for protection from evil and good, and 
if these guys are magical, would that be I, that way? That means I would have to touch Ralph in order for this to happen because it's a touch spell. Yeah. Yeah, you can do that. And he's bigger than me, so it makes sense to have him fighting and me protect him. Yeah. So I think that's what I will do. That's so what amusing. Do I need to do? I've been trying to move my character on Ryan's shared screen for so long. This isn't the right thing. Yeah. Roll 20. Yeah, I know that 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 could be confusing. <laughs> I got it. Do it. So do do I need to move if I need to touch him, or is it the fact that we're diagonal boxes next to each other okay? No, no, you're 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 good. You can touch him from there. You, you okay. typical reach is five feet, so okay. So that's what I'll do. I'll so, make sure okay. the bigger guy is protected. Okay, and then and that uh, I think does that give him a protection from good and evil? Does that give him a bonus for saving throws and attacks? Or I forget how that works. Or is armor says, class? It says until the spell ends, one willing creature you touch is protected against certain types of creatures, and then it lists off the different creatures. These protection grants several benefits. Creatures of those types have disadvantage on attack rolls against the target. The target also can't be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. Okay. So are you protecting Joe's character? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, he's bigger mm -hmm. than me, so it makes sense. Okay. okay. <laughs> and you guys are Jericho squad mates too, right? Yeah. A giant lizard man. It's a total okay. Chicken. Called Ralph. All right. <laughs> uh, it's Now it's uh, Churdovir's turn. All right, so you just saw Musette blow a big hole in that one that's in front of you, and yeah. it looks like it's reeling. It's All it's right. struggling. Well, I'm going to, again, I'm trying to move it on your shared screen. Um, I'm going to move it to the righteous in front of me. Okay. And I want to use my ribbon sword to slice him. Okay, uh, make an attack roll. So you your uh, ribbon attack. sword. Mm -hmm. you, you you should have let's see i'm gonna pull up your character just so i can see what you're seeing let's see so where do i find out the the the, the hit so under under hit. actions at the you have your uh, your edimex silken sword under actions okay. yeah silken sword so you, you see feet. the hit hit dc is uh plus five so uh -huh. you roll 20 sided die and you add five to it I've got 11 plus five, that's attack. 11 plus five, that's 16. Okay, uh, 16 hits. So you roll a, a four-sided die, that's the little pyramid-shaped pyramid one, mm -hmm. and you add three to that for the damage. Okay, um, I got three plus okay. three. So you do damage. six damage to him. So you manage to slice with your ribbon sword. You're flinging it around, yeah. And you manage to slice this creature right in half. Nice. So it nice. is dead. And um, and make a make a wisdom check really quick. So you see that up at the top, you've got wisdom is plus two. So okay. roll a twenty sided die and add plus two to it. Okay, we'll do that. I got <laughs> three. Plus okay. Two, five. Okay, yeah, you, 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 we'll move past that then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. right. But we sliced one in half. That's awesome yeah. and exciting. Okay, so these things start moving. Can you guys hear kids talking in the background? Nope. Okay. Hey, uh, Rob, I don't think I can move these creatures. That's because you're a rock, Ryan. Yeah. Well, I, I fixed it now. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. So they can only move 10. So this one is moving towards Musette. And this one is also moving towards the other players, the other characters here. And when they move, they move in a slow, sort of deliberate, levitating fashion. But they, it looks like they aren't very fast. OK, now it's Ralph's turn. My turn. Okay. Yeah. 
and you're protected because I see a little icon on you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I covered your ass. Thank you. <laughs> so am I supposed to roll a die? Uh, yeah, well, what do you want to do? So you have to first say what you want to do, and then we'll figure out what you roll for it. Ah, uh, well, I guess I'll do my part and uh, try to attack one of these. Okay, and you've got kind of a rocky outcropping in front of you there, so you might have to move clear of it first before you can attack one. Okay. So. Yeah, you go to the uh, roll 20 tab. Don't try to do that on the uh, shared screen one because I think I did that, and Brant did that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you got to figure out where you want to move your character. Each of these squares is five feet. Okay, so. Yeah, and you can move, and Ralph can go 30, so you can go six. Or no, I'm not. I'm on uh, Cherdelweer still. Well, how do I just move six spaces ahead of me? Yeah, and you don't have to go your full movement. You can go as much. You yeah, it's still thirty. You you can go up to six if you want to. Okay, well I you need to go forward. to your internet browser and go to the uh, go to the roll twenty and then move your. Yeah, person. I am doing exactly that. Okay. And oh, I literally have to click. Yeah. Interact. So yeah, from there you can see both of the ones that are still alive, <laughs> and you'd have a clear shot at either one of them. Okay. So um, and so you can use your gun or you can use a spell, which is really strange because you don't remember having magical powers. So I, uh, but, but suddenly so you've you, this feels normal to you for some reason. Uh, you can do Eldritch Blast, or you even have this other spell called Arms of Hadar, which uh, makes these living tentacles come up out of the ground and grab your enemies. Well, I suppose. I accidentally do that. Okay. <laughs> accidentally? Yeah. Well, if I have amnesia, then I don't remember anything. Okay. I guess and a good way oh, to and that, that works that on any creature okay. within 10 feet of you. So there's only one of them that's 10 feet away. So it'll yeah, be that same. one on your upper left there. Mm -hmm. We All don't right. have amnesia. We just woke up in this cave. Okay. Yeah, yeah. you remember me. I remember you. I thought that was okay. part of Joseph's and, backstory. And, and, and Ralph, you know that this is a dream, but something feels odd about it. Okay. Okay. So I so you're he has to make a you don't have to roll anything for this spell. It's the the enemy has to roll to try to get out of its way. So it's a strength saving throw because these arms are grabbing it. Okay. And wow, he rolled really badly. So he got a five. So he did not he he's he's stuck in there. And is there damages? Yeah, there are. There is damage with that. So now, uh, to roll damage, you take two six-sided dice, and uh, roll those and and add that up. It's two d six damage. Two six-sided. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I I got a two and a one. Okay, so you do three damage to that guy. And I believe I have to read the spell again, but I believe he's stuck there now. Let's see. Stop chewing on the cord, cat. Okay. Um, you invoke the power of Hadar, the dark hunger. Tendrils of dark energy erupt from your you and uh, batter all creatures within 10 feet of you. They have to make all a strength creatures. saving throw, and on a failed save, they take 2d6 necrotic damage and can't take reactions until the next turn. Okay, so they're not, he's not stuck there, but he just got beat up by these tentacles. Cool. Okay, and uh, after that, we're at the top of the next round. It's Musette again, and you Hi. see one. You see one uh, up ahead of you, and you saw that the 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 lizard type guy uh, did some crazy spell that that uh, with tentacles attacking this other one. Right. So I'm going to move over and get closer to the guy who's already uh, wounded. Okay. And let's see. What is best for me to help uh, get rid of him? Uh, well, you have, yeah, you have your, your gun and you have daggers. I think your spells are all mostly for helping other people. Take a look at it. 
yeah, I like helping other people. <laughs> yeah. Ryan, most times you only see half of your face, pretty much your forehead. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm looking down at the screen. Yeah. yeah. I can tilt this down some more. Yeah. That's much better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, it says I have like a crossbow. I don't know if that helps at all. So that way I don't have to get so close to it. <laughs> I would okay. Say, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it help. does not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the gun is a lot. The gun is a lot better than the crossbow. Okay. Okay. So I guess I'll use the gun again. Yeah. I thought we took out the crossbow. Yeah. That's not so on your too. characters. I don't know. Yeah. I like it for style. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but otherwise it's useless. Copy that. Yeah. Okay, sorry. So we're gonna use the gun on uh, the the guy who's already injured. Okay. Yeah, you got to roll for the attack. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's plus four. You roll twenty sided die and you add plus four to it. Even though it says plus Ugh. two, I need to fix that. Okay, I rolled three. Sorry. Oh, okay. So, yep, yeah, you you fire and you miss. Okay, and Jonathan is next. So, Ooh. all these uh So all the these uh, these people that you don't know with uh with uh, some of them having skin color that's not uh not anything you've ever seen before. Um have been fighting these crazy purple worms and you're hidden behind the rocks or you think you're hidden. Yeah, I, I was attempting to be hidden. Yeah, um, but they're well, not that I, close to you yet. I think the remains of these these giant purple worms look pretty intriguing. Um, yeah. But at the moment, <laughs> I think I'm going to try to remain hidden and okay. cast Silent Image. Okay. Um, of kind of basically a seagull moving forward from out of the position to try to move like... Um, kind of look like it's flying and flocking around. Uh, okay. I can't ping this guy, the one guy that's not injured. Oh, OK. And so I'll silent image a seagull. So it's like I'm harassing him, but I'm actually still hidden. OK. Uh, is there is there some kind of a check to, to fool them with the silent image? Um, I believe in physical interaction with the image reveals it to be an illusion because things can pass through it. So you want to see, so he's kind of dipping in and out of reach to try to dodge. Yeah, it's, it's kind of yeah. like harassing and flying around yeah. silently. Okay. And well, it's like a normal action. seagull. Yeah. yeah. And, well, it's quiet, so it's not quite a normal okay. seagull. But So so um, there's no or, there's no saving throw or check or anything for that? There's an intelligence and, investigation check against your spell save DC, but that takes an action on their part. Oh, I see. So otherwise, they just believe. So, and probably all the rest of you guys all think that Jonathan flew out like, there yeah, and is, is fighting like with this worm. Hmm, yeah. Okay. So, for all you know, that this this bird really did fly out there and started fighting with it. Okay. All right, and Zoe. What turn. do you want to do? So what? What? Is it my turn. Zoe. Okay, now I can move and then I do the spell. Is that how we're doing it? Yeah, well, you you can you can do those in either or any order. Okay, so I can move 30 feet. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'll move to here and turn me around here. Ah, come on, turn. Why am I not turning? Um, there we go. All right. And then what I want to do is I want to do Guiding Bolt. OK. So Guiding Bolt is like it, you you rolled a hit on that one. OK. And which die do I use? A uh, 20-sided die. And there will okay. be a bonus is your spell attack bonus. But I, okay. I can find it here. I'll help you find it. Man, I love these little avatars that, that... Yeehaw, 19! Oh, yeah. It, they 19. All look so good. Wormy's going down. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, and so that's a plus five. So that's a twenty-four to hit. Woo! Wow. Down my um, gullet. Yeah. So you gotta get in roll. my gumbo worm. Does she okay. roll the pyramid in my damage? gumbo? <laughs> so so for you, the damage for guiding bolt is uh, four six-sided dice. Oh. What? Yeah. 
Okay, I've yeah, only got just... one six-sided dice, so I roll it four times. Yeah, add that okay. all up. Five, two, six. Jeez. Two. So fifteen. What's the fifteen? 15? Yeah. Fifteen. Yep. Okay, uh, that one your your um, your guiding bolt just kind of blew it apart. Woo! Yeah. Yay! That that guy is dead. Uh, and so She's normally a guy, a, a, another good thing about guiding bolt is that it it gives it makes them glow, so the next person has advantage on attacking them, so they can roll twice and take the higher number. It doesn't matter in this case because you killed him, but. Uh, <laughs> But that's something to keep in mind for the future. And also, when you cast a spell, you'll want to click the cast button because that's using up one of your two spell slots for the day. Oh, do you want me to do that on roll twenty as well? Uh, yeah, if you could. So you keep track. Okay, I'll open. Yeah, I mean, I know you, you're, you're 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 really experienced with D and D, so I know you're keeping track. Anyway. No, but it, but it's good for you to be able to see all. Yeah. Everybody be able to see. Yeah. What was the spell that you used, Zoe? Guiding bolt. Guiding yeah. bolt. There we go. It is now cast. Okay, uh Churdovir is next. Right. All right. So I I uh you know I go like, yeah, good job. And then I turn towards the remaining uh a worm that's being distracted by by the seagull, and I want to cast Ray of Frost. Okay. So what do I need to do for that? Uh, Ray of Frost is, I think that one is a spell attack, right? It is uh, a spell. Brand, yes. Yeah. Yep. yep. So you're gonna um, you're gonna roll a twenty sided die to hit that guy. Okay, so I roll twenty. I got nine. I think so you. Nine you've been rolling five. low like uh, this whole time. I know. So it's it's, pl it's plus five. You are rolling so, a twenty-sided dice, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah this, this guy. Yeah. So you, you, what did you? You rolled a? Did you say a nine? A nine, yes. Plus okay, five, plus five 14. is fourteen. No, let me and, roll for damage. Uh, yeah, so that still hits. Okay, cool. So I roll for damage, and the damage is an eight-sided die. So that is uh, eight. -sided. I don't have one out right now. Which but it, it looks like, it a, looks like a diamond. Kind of. Yeah. I don't have an eight-sided die. Oh yeah, 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 I do. This one. Yes. Um, I think that's or a maybe 10. it's a ten. Oh, this is a ten. It's it it's looks like really similar to that one, but it's got pointier edges on it. Yeah. Huh. Like this. Which one? On. Like this one. Huh. I gotta go look in my bag because I don't think I got that one out. Hang on. Okay. Eight-sided. Oh, here it is. Okay, yeah. eight sided. Gonna roll that. Yep. So you roll that, you got a and that's your damage, or your cold damage. So I rolled a three. I'm really okay. rolling low. So you did. Uh, you did three cold damage to him. And its okay. speed is reduced by ten feet as well. Oh, awesome. oh, that stinks, man. That yeah. that's their movement is ten feet. Yeah. So now so it's he's frozen in place. So, yeah. You okay, that so guy, that guy. Brent. Wow, that was a that was a really good move because now it's his turn and he's he's gonna um he's going to attack the seagull that's going after him. So is there an, an, an armor class to uh, to hit it to hit this thing? Uh, it says physical interaction. Um, okay, but how do I know if he was able to actually hit it? Uh, I don't know. Can I? I'll just give him. I'll give him your. What's your? We'll use your armor class. My AC is fourteen. Because it's not like you're armored. It's your armor class is no. based on your ability to dodge around. Yeah. Okay. So I think that's wow. He, he got. Uh, he, he got a um a twenty eight to hit. Oh yeah. So Taking he hit this. He hit this this illusory seagull, and it's like, and it's not. Uh, it's it just went right through it, and now he's getting mad. <laughs> okay and the other two are dead so then it's ralph's turn okay so <laughs> two are dead and i got, we got one more left where am i right here yeah I, I can move 
You set up the six bases. Yeah. Oh, I just saw myself launch the Ray of Frost in the animation. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, Rob's doing a great job. I could just kind of say. Yeah, good job, Rob. Yeah. How do I make this yeah, pretty cool. right turn? Thanks. Uh, there, if you click on him, there's little a little blue handle under him that you can use. Or there was also a command key that we discovered last time, to to use arrow keys to turn him around. Oh, Oops. oh you killed yourself! <laughs> Please don't commit suicide in your dreams. <laughs> yeah, if you click your character, you'll see a square around you, and then a segment with a little square at the end. And it, oh wow, what was that? Yeah. Are you attacking us? That was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> he had beans last night. It looked like you shot. <laughs> um, I'm trying to turn towards this guy. Towards this right. other so if you click your boy. character, do you see a little box around him with a, a, a little thing sticking out with a square at the end? That looks okay. like a tail that hangs down with a little circle on the bottom on the bottom of it. That's what it looked like for me when I moved mine. Or you can just click on your character. You know, kind of like on Photoshop, e if you were to make something bigger. Yeah. Press, press the E key and roll the the scroll on your mouse. Ooh. You see it? That's cool. Okay. Everyone's doing it except for Joe. Well, no, <laughs> yeah, I had it when we. Uh, did that practice run the other day? And for some Joe, reason, it's not happening now. Joe, do you have a scroll uh, wheel on your mouse? Negative. Okay. So I would say. Well, you you can there also you scroll up and down with go. the trackpad oh, to do it. Yeah, you got, you got it. it. Yeah. I did it. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'm going to shoot bullets at this guy. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's let's. I'm going to take a look at that. I'm pull up the right. character here. I need What's to it? fix the uh, also the the um, we need to fix the on the characters themselves. We need to put the actual um, portraits in for them because mo I think only a couple of them have the new portraits. Okay, so your 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 pistol. Oh, it says plus one to hit. That's not right. you you should that should be plus three. So uh, roll to hit with your gun and add three to it with a 20-sided die. Fuck. Sorry. I got a three, so six. OK, yeah. So you, you fire your gun, but it, you, you, uh, the, the bullet goes wild. Damn. Or wide, I mean, not wild. What a waste of money. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and uh, next up is. Musette. OK, so since this uh, guy is stuck there, is it potentially safe for me to actually just go and stabby stabby? Yeah. Well, he can't move, but he can still attack. Uh -huh. But he was slowed down, right? Yeah. And, and, and uh, you, you, three other people are going to get turns before he does, so you're pretty safe. <laughs> Three. Okay, that's probably a safe distance. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I will stabby time. stabby, stabby stabby time. <laughs> well, I think to to stab with a, a dagger, you have to be up right up it up next Closer. to him. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's within my allotted range movements. There we go. There we go. Okay, stabby stabby time. All right. Um. So roll to hit with a twenty sided die. And with your dagger. Oh, God damn it, really? Yeah, four. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, welcome to role playing games. Yeah. <laughs> you stabbed him with a spork. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so that's an eight. So, so you stab at him, but one of the tentacles kind of slaps the knife away. Uh, so ah. you don't drop it or anything, but it, it, uh, it slaps it up so it doesn't, uh, doesn't actually slash him. It's like, mm -mm, not today. Yeah. Uh, OK, Jonathan. So your illusory seagull is over there uh, flying around it, but it obviously knows that yeah. uh, that this thing's not real anymore. Well, I'm going to fly as high as I can in the cave to about here. OK, um, so, because... and you can go about 15 feet up. All right, I'll be 15 feet up there. And uh, I do not like it attacking even my illusory self. So I'm going to fry him and uh, catch okay. a firebolt. 
<laughs> okay. Sometimes I like my meals cooked. Yeah. Ooh. So all of a sudden we're going to see a, a seagull uh, throwing a 14. bolt. Yeah, it does a little weird wing flap, and there's a giant yeah. firebolt that. Well, so but, wait, but are you you're still in the back though? So nobody's looking at you. So yeah. all they all you guys see is a firebolt going over your shoulders and into this creature. So it was 14 to hit. 14 to hit. That that hits. All right, give me my Yay. d10. Ooh, for two whole damage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, so that was kind of how I felt about it as well. He takes okay. a little burn. Okay. And Zoe is next. Okay. And uh, Churdovir will be after Zoe. Whoa, what the heck happened? That was weird. Okay. Um, I think I'm just going to do the stabby stabby too. Okay. One, two, three. Let's turn me around here. With your uh, with your your um, your big your your awesome dagger. Yeah, if I can get myself turned around. Where'd my little tail go? Yeah, I, I was wanna... noticing I couldn't find mine either. Oh, there it is. It's okay. it's oh, it's all the because of the the color of it's the background. A... It makes them hard to see. Okay. Yeah. So I'm rolling... Okay, yeah. so I'm rolling twenty sided die. Yeah. Come on, Mama needs a new pair of shoes. God dang it, seven. <laughs> uh, that might actually. Well, let's see. So seven plus for your dagger. It's the one that says dagger plus two. I think on there. Yeah. So that's a seven plus six. Thirteen. That Thirteen. That actually still yeah. hits. Woohoo! Okay, so uh, roll the damage is one d four. So that's the pyramid shaped one. Uh, plus four. Pyramid shape plus four. Uh, so five total. Okay. So it is hurt really badly, but it's not dead yet. Not and, dead uh, yet. Churdovir, it's your turn <laughs> next. All right. So I step over the uh, remains of the monster that I sliced in half. <laughs> Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 30 feet. Okay. And I'm going to rotate my character. And I'm going to use my ribbon ribbon to stabby stabby, slicey slicey. Okay. 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 So I'm going to roll 20, right? Yeah. I got a six. Okay. So it's Plus. six. Plus five. That's my attack. So that's eleven. Okay. And I'm gonna do the pyramid, right? Uh, yes. And then plus and uh, and then plus four damage. I got four plus four. So that's... or wait, I think. I mean, I need. I'm on the wrong character. Plus three, right? Four plus three. Yeah, that's right. So that's seven damage. Okay. Uh, you you do a big vertical slice down the middle of it, and its guts kind of sp spill out, and it falls over dead onto the ice. Yeah, baby! Woo! Finisher! <laughs> all right. So I'm like, all right, that's the last of it. And uh, yeah, so the, the combat is over. You've managed to kill these these things without even getting hurt. Uh, I was kind of hoping to show you guys how death saves worked. But, uh, <laughs> well, I'm definitely. Uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Yeah. <laughs> just want to so, see so in this game, if you get down to zero hit points, um, you don't automatically die. Uh, you you become unconscious, and then for three turns, you roll a death save. And uh, if you get a ten or higher, then uh, then it's a, a pass, and if it's below ten, it's a fail. And if you get two out of three fails, you die. And if you get uh, two out of three successes, you're stabilized and you're just unconscious. Kind of reminds um, but me at of any Jericho time, computer game. And but at any time during that, if somebody comes up and heals you, then you automatically get out of the death save thing and you're just back up again. So they and they don't have to heal you of negative hit points. There's no negative hit points in this version of the game. So you're just at zero. Cool. So they make it easier to stay alive uh, mm -hmm. versus old old versions of the game where you it was a lot easier to die. 
So I'm going to fly down and start snacking on that guy's um, <laughs> carcass. You leave me carcass. so at your face. And, and because I'm kind of lonely, I'm going to keep the illusion and have it come down with me. So it's like there's okay. another seagull eating. <laughs> I look at the seagull in disgust like, ew. <laughs> yeah. Feels like be so, pulling, jer jerking at various arcane yeah. organs, seeing what they taste like. So, so you, you, um, you as, as you're eating, you notice that uh, this, this strange, you know, just like you don't feel cold, you also don't <laughs> taste anything from eating this creature. Ah, that's no fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Is there, is there anything anybody else wants to do? I think it's maybe we can introduce ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you wanna if you wanna start talking to each other, you can take the burden off of me. Um hmm. okay, well. Well, I'm not sure how we ended up in this cave. Um, but it seems like we work well as a team. And I am Churdovir. Who are you guys? I want to come I'm look Musette, at him. but I'm not so sure about this team thing. I just want to get out of here. Yeah, I'll kind of look up from my meal, you know, shake my head and be like, this is a dream. You're not real. Let me enjoy this. Holy shit, okay. a talking seagull. <laughs> back, to, back to the... Yeah. <laughs> my back hurts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, and uh, and and Ralph, you know that the uh, and you know that the that this is a dream, and nobody else seems to have figured that out. Oh, we hear a dog in the distance. It's but, part of uh, the evolution. Then again, all of those, none of those people, maybe those people aren't real either. They might all just be mm -hmm. part of your dream. So none of these people are real. As this is all know, just. I'm pulling the strings. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. So, uh, how do we get out of here? Anybody? Uh, as you're as you're talking, uh, you see the the ice under you uh, starts to kind of glow red in in the shape of uh, of an eyeball. Are we and, and you hear it, and you hear a, a a voice kind of boom out, and it says, "Do not interfere with the Aboriginal children." Who are the Aboriginal ch children? Or any? Uh, that, that, that's all it says. Oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Where did that come from? It's an angel. No, it's missing its wings. Full of eyes. <laughs> Full of eyes. <laughs> well, I'm going to take off and squawk loudly. Okay. <laughs> Carry us with you. <laughs> it's marginally yeah. disturbing. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and at this point, uh, at this point, you all kind of wake up, and you're not in the uh, you're not in the ice cave anymore. You're you're back home. So for for Musette, you're uh, you're back in in um, you're back in your Jericho squad in Liverpool uh, by the Fugue. And for um, uh, for Churdovir, you're back in in your uh, You've got a, a a a little a small house by the library, and you're you wake up there, and um, Ralph, you wake up back in at the uh, at uh, Midian Outpost, in in the in the in the basement of the uh, the the log cabin, and same with uh, same with Zoe, and Jonathan, you're uh, you're back in uh, you're back in uh, around Calgary. Oh, I just wake up at the dump yeah shake myself so, and everybody make a either a wisdom or intelligence check whichever you want you want to do wisdom or intelligence. yeah six and i'm gonna what do stop i use sharing on this thing okay which so what do we use? use whichever one's higher so you use the, you, the wisdom or intelligence the little bonus underneath them uh-huh okay so you roll a 20-sided die and add that number to it. And whichever one is higher, either wisdom or intelligence. All right. So I got a 17 plus 3. I got a 20%. Oh, so you got a 20. Wisdom. <laughs> Wait, wisdom? Where is that? Wisdom plus 2. So I got a 19 wisdom. Well, yeah, but if you're using intelligence, that's probably higher. 
Okay, so I get a 17, yeah. 320 intelligence. Oh, okay, so thank you, Jesus. So <laughs> with a 20, I rolled a 20. Uh, nice. All right, wow. First so the two of you uh, both were able to, you you managed to remember this dream. You, uh, instead of getting distracted by the day and forgetting the whole thing, you you said, hey, you, you thought this is important. I better write this down. And so you're able to remember your dream. Doing right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, what, what did everybody else get? Got 17 total. Okay, you you were also able to remember. This is surprising. Okay, I thought everybody would forget. <laughs> I got a six. I forgot. Okay, so I have more so, pressing uh, matters like breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. So so um, Jonathan forgot, and and Ralph got what? It, uh, Ralph got a wow well, seven. Yeah. So Ralph forgot the dream also. You kind of wake up and think about what you're going to be doing for the day and like, oh, there was a dream and now it's gone already. Usually and does. For the encounter. Do we get experience points? You do, yeah. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Give me some experience points. Yeah. So I have to find the... Okay. Sweet XP. Okay, so everybody gets 60 experience points on that. Nice. And I'll give, let's see. How many experience points does it take to uh, level up? Actually, you can add them in on the on the thing, and it'll it's got a little bar on, on the top there. Yeah, in your character sheet in D and D Beyond, you under your name, there's mm -hmm. you click on the little experience bar there. I see it. And you you can add sixty to it. Okay, how do I do that? I see. Level what is it? One, the manage two. XP. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Oh, there it is. Yep. And then set level, or do, and, or do you yeah, just so do it then, on a little scroll bar? Yeah, and All then right. you add sixty to it. I added sixty. Coolness. Hey, Ryan, I need to get going if you don't need me. Oh, okay. All right. Well, thanks, Rob. Okay. Bye. Yeah, thank you. It was, thank effects you. were great. Thank you, Rob. That, that yeah. was really good. Awesome, Rob.